This map shows the school's central nervous system, the cafeteria. You got your cool Asians, burnouts, jocks, the greatest people you will ever meet, and the worst. So you've never been to Although they may be exaggerated in the movies, in high school, cliques are a fact of life. There may not be separate lunch tables for band geeks and jocks, but groups of friends often form based on their interests and backgrounds. The social pressures of high school can be overwhelming, especially for incoming freshmen. However, Matthew Reinecke of Robinson High School has found that forming a large group of friends has helped him through it. My main goal that I, I thought to myself was, I need to make a group of friends. Cliques are typically seen in a negative light. However, in some cases, a supportive group of friends can be beneficial. Coming from another part of the school district, Matthew started the year without knowing many people. Soon, he found himself among a group of freshmen. We were all cheering for the Robinson football team at uh, the plant game, and we were all standing on the bleachers. Eventually, we were cheering so hard that we started dancing, and a name originated for the group of friends called Dance Club. If I didn't have this group of friends, I, I think I'd still be here, but I would be in a much different place. I wouldn't be the freshman president. I wouldn't have joined many clubs. My grades probably wouldn't be the same. They would probably be worse, but um, yeah, the, it's definitely helped. On the other hand, those outside of dance clubs see it a little differently. A lot of people, they just view us as the group that always does stuff with each other. They, a lot of them want to be in dance club, but don't necessarily ask. A lot of them want to be in dance club, but don't necessarily want to say it because they, are like, they secretly like it, but they say that they hate it. According to Psych Central, a mental health social network, groups like dance club can fall into two categories, cliques and friend groups. For teens, it is important to recognize when a seemingly helpful group of friends turns into a clique. There's a group identity that you can associate yourself with and also learning your own personal identity of who you are. Dr. Nikisha Hammond is a licensed psychologist who often works with young adults. She explains the supportive nature of friend groups. If someone is going through something in their life, it may be that their parents are getting a divorce or a loss of someone or a really uh, stressful move or something of that nature, but their group sort of comes together and really supports that person, that would be an example of the group reaching out to help them. Students like Matthew are motivated to be in a clique simply because they want to be a part of something. Being in a group helps you to find a sense of belonging because oftentimes, not even teenagers, anyone, but really teens too, you're just searching for a sense of belonging and trying to fit in and figure out who you are. In some cases, tight-knit groups like Dance Club can experience conflict. For the most part, we stay together and we do things together and everybody likes each other and we're all friends, but sometimes certain group members, you know, they do things that not everybody likes and sometimes some things happen, but no nothing ever to break the group. It's all, we're all friends and we all still hang out with each other. Taking a stand against the negative influence of cliques is difficult, but in the long run, you will be glad you did. The teenagers really are strong in whatever it is they believe in. So, and that could come from family, it could come from religion, your culture, or whatever those sets of values are, but just really holding on to those and remembering what those are will help you make the right decisions. This is Isabel reporting for From the Core.